what I've tried to do is be a good steward of our facilities as they're some of our biggest assets. So I'm the Atlanta History Center's green champion uh, under the Good Use Program. And it's, it's quite interesting. We started with a small assessment grant on our biggest building, the Atlanta History Museum. I steered that process along with the South Face engineers to determine how to make the Atlanta History Museum building more efficient. We just saved the cyclorama, moved it from Grant Park to the Atlanta History Center, put a, uh, a new wing on for it. And because of the efficiencies in the air conditioning system that had come through a good use program, uh, we were able to actually build that wing without adding chiller capacity. So not only are we saving operating dollars, but there's a case where uh, we didn't have to go fundraise for a completely different and separate air conditioning system. We had the main plant that was modernized and efficient that could provide um, HVAC chill water to the cyclorama. So that was very exciting. So I do recommend the Good Use Program to any nonprofit that has utility bills to pay. Uh, utility bills are often seen as just sunk costs, uh, money that you have to pay, uh, monies that you'll never get back, they're just out there, but you gotta have them as a cost of doing business. Now imagine if you were able to reduce the amount of money that you thought as the head of a nonprofit that you had to pay no matter what, You've just created a new donor in a sense with those savings. Those savings will follow your bottom line and go directly towards your programs. No matter what uh, nonprofit you're, you're heading up, whether it's social services or history or museums, the reality is, is that saving money on your utilities creates new dollars for mission. And we're all in it for our mission.